It's The Cube, covering Sapphire Now. Headline sponsored by SAP HANA Cloud, the leader in platform as a service. With support from Console Inc., the cloud internet company. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, we are live back here at Sapphire Now. This is SiliconANGLE Media's flagship program, The Cube, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. And I want to do a shout out to our sponsors that helped us get here and present the great content. SAP, HANA Cloud Platform, Console Inc., Capgemini, and EMC. Thank you very much for the sponsor. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. Our next guest is Rodolfo Cardenudo, who's the president of Global Channels, company-wide for SAP, as well as the general business, which is the SME, as, 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 in, as they talk about in, in the industry. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John. Thank you, Peter. Good so, to Juan, you. congratulations. We've had a lot of your folks on theCUBE, and uh, this, this area of the floor is buzzing um, with action. Yeah. But real meat on the bone, as we say. This real, it's a sizzle and the steak is here. So, so <laughs> and they had beer here yesterday, so German company, so we always like yeah. to see, see the Heineken <laughs> beer. Out bad here. beer. <laughs> <laughs> some good beer. Heineken out there, it's good. <laughs> some good beer. Um, so give us the update. I mean, you guys have had growth. Share with, the, uh, with us uh, and, the, and the folks watching just some where you guys have come from because SAP has always had a strong ecosystem. You go back to the ERP days back in the net, late 90s, certainly that revolution is 25 years ago when SAP came out of the woodwork and you got Oracle, all these companies were born. They had, they had an ecosystem. They had you know, people deploying and delivering yep. software. Yep. It's yep. changed now, so yep. the dynamics are different. Talk about the dynamics and some of the growth that you guys have. I, I think you know, it's a better to position the organization, G GB, as you well said, uh, general business, the SME space. Our ecosystem that we uh, uh, built uh, uh, historically was very focused on the enterprise to support the business suite, to support the enterprises to implement, et cetera. And now we are building, in the last uh, 10 years, we started to build a very focused, strong, uh, 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 ecosystem ecosystem for the SME space. Uh, that's what we're doing. And I was uh, just sharing with you, we just uh, kick off uh, Sapphire now last Monday with uh, 2,000 of our partners uh, with us, kicking off the Sapphire, 2,000 of uh, GB uh, 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 partners that serve this uh, segment for us. So I said uh, yesterday on the closing, I mentioned this to you, and you correct me, I want to get this out there and clarify the record. I said, mm -hmm. you know, you bolt on the partner summit with the end user conference, which is a huge show, 25,000 plus, whatever the number yep. is, massive. Well, everyone's here, so it makes sense. And I was saying that this is going to be so important that you should have to break out your own partner event so it's a, people feel like a first class citizen in that partner world. And you had corrected me, so share with the correction that you guys do partner events Obviously, this is the big tent event, so why not have uh, everything here for that? But yep. you guys are doing events, just clarify Yeah, that. just to give you an idea, we, uh, we just, uh, you know, I said uh, we came up from the Partner Summit at last Monday with the 2,000 of our partners kicking off the Sapphire now, but we do have a Partner Summits here in North America and U.S. We have Partner Summits in Latin America. By the way, the next one is going to be in uh, Punta Cana. Uh, a los amigos de Latin America, nosotros vamos a estar en Punta Cana con ustedes en el Partner Summit para Latin America. Uh, we have uh, Partner Summits in, uh, in uh, Europe, for APJ, Greater China, we do have a series of a partner summits. Do you do those partner Specific summits in native tongue or can the cube come well, uh, We have to learn. The, na the native <laughs> tongue that I can, you know, like, if I speak, yes. <laughs> well, we have to get a whole new crew for the cube. We're looking for some hires <laughs> down there. If you're watching, since then you brought that up. Okay, so let's get down and dirty. Okay, channels are great. Yep. Uh, the leverage of channels, the leverage of, of the cost per order dollar for SAP from your perspective is phenomenal and that's a great business. Yeah. Indirect sales combined with direct sales, phenomenal approach. What's changing though? Because at the end of the day, people in the channel have an attitude of what's in it for me? They, yeah. They're running a business. They also serve on the front lines with customers. What's changed in the channel today? Is it the same challenges, training, product? Is it different? Do you see different configurations? Well, it's changing a, a couple of things, and I'll try to summarize here, but the fundamentals are changing from on-prem to cloud, because we were, you very well said, historically an on-prem company, the fundamentals of the on-prem are changing now for the, to the fundamentals, the economics are changing from on-prem to the cloud. And the second thing is specialization. Uh, uh, we were a company that was built on uh, the ERP, and now we are a company, as you saw here, from Bill McDermott to uh, Rob Anzling, uh, Bern Leuker, et cetera. We are a company of HCM, Ariba, or, or supply uh, uh, manufacturer, SRM, or CEC. So we have a lot of uh, specialization. So the economics are changing for the channel as much as uh, they are changing for us. And the specialization, you require a lot of specialization. One of the things that we are here uh, uh, listening clearly from our customers is the specialization with integration. 
You saw the owner here from Bill McDermott and uh, Rob Ansley and Bern Leiker to, uh, uh, talking today about uh, uh, this uh, uh, integration. And we are doing a lot of our effort with our channels also to specialize, but at the same time to integrate that with SAP Core. So there's uh, something in application development that's been around for probably 40, 50 years called Conway's Law. Yeah. Which suggests that the application that gets built is or the complexity of the application that gets built is a reflection of the complexity of the organization that built it. When we talk about all enterprises of all sizes wanting simpler, faster, more integrated, more convenient, more natural to use, a lot of your partners are at the vanguard of thinking about how to make it simple because they don't have the institutional and organizational complexity to make it complex. Yeah. So yep. is SAP learning from your partners as opposed to just your partners learning from SAP as we move into this digital world mm. that has such a focus and emphasis on simplification? Peter, great, great, you know, a great insight. Uh, I think uh, not only learning, we have to listen to that and react to that. Because if we react in a complex way to serve our partners, they cannot serve our customers. Because in the end, they're serving our customers. And as you said, they don't have the 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 infrastructure or, or, or they cannot afford complexly, period. They cannot afford. So they need to be simple by nature. And if we are complex to serve them, they're not going to work with us. They're going to you know, pick another one, the application and everything. So we need to build an organization that is fast and agile and as simple enough to work with our channels. I'm not saying we are there. We're not there yet. But we are in our, you know, for instance, our theme is partners first, uh, 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 run live and win together. Partners First is all about the partners. Everything that I do yeah. in my organization, all programs, uh, products, solutions is about with the partner mentality. Is this good for the partner? Is this good with business model? It's simple enough it's for them. It's a business partnership. It's a business, it, 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 and is the partner ready? Because if it's not partner ready, it, it doesn't fit my model. Run live is <laughs> about the customer. Yeah. You know, and win together, it's, a, it's a SAP, the partner, and the customer. The customer should be uh, comfortable enough that uh, we are serving them uh, with this uh, partnership. Take us through some meetings internally at SAP because that's a really great point. You got to meet the, the channel's requirements on how they do business. Yeah. Because they have a business and you got a partnership. So that means, you know, you're the favorite guy in town and come inside the company. Hey, here's my product. Go sell it to the channel. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm oversimplifying. I'm not saying they said, but that's kind of a that's what that's the knee jerk reaction. Yeah, that's I want a historical norm. That's a historical yeah. norm. Hey, boom! Here's some product. Go just do some training. It'll yeah. just and give us cheaper. Yeah, yeah. But now you have to hold the line. You're the you're the safeguard for the customer. So what are some of those conversations? Because you now have to be a forcing function yeah. to the product groups. Yeah. And we're seeing so much transformation. SAP, S for HANA, HANA Cloud Platform, all these enabling technologies are is a gold rush for the partners. So you yeah. have to hold the line. What, share some internal uh, color. I, I, I'm gonna without getting in trouble. No, no, without <laughs> getting, you know, and I have no problem getting in trouble, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to illustrate that with a simple case you just mentioned, S for HANA. As for HANA is the flagship of a product for the large enterprise. You saw Nestle today uh, 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 with, uh, uh, with uh, Rob Ansley. Nestle, one of the largest uh, corporations in the world, 350,000 employees, $80 billion worth of, uh, uh, pretty large, pretty yeah, large by any metric, you know, uh, pretty large. And they use as for HANA. My job, and I have an organization, my organization, we package, we price, we enable, and we support the channel to, uh, 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 to sell and to support the S4 HANA for the SME market. We are 60% of the S4 HANAs for SAP. All, if you get all S4 HANAs, 60% goes through the channel that we manage. So we in package. In terms of number of installations? Yeah, yeah. 60% okay. of the S4 HANAs today that we sold are sold through the channels that we manage in the SME, in the GB space. So that's the job. It's my job to package. You're to giving price. money away. You're handing people money. No, yeah. yeah here, here's it's some It's my business. job to package, to price, to enable the channel, and to support the channel to, uh, to uh, uh, actually make a S4 HANA available for the GB space. So that's what we do. So we do that uh, two folds. Uh, of course, I have an organization to do that, and I have uh, also to educate the other organizations. Okay, as you said, oh, here's my product. It's perfect for SME. Go and sell. Okay, let's have a conversation. <laughs> let's package. <laughs> Is let's it channel price. ready? Let, exactly. Run, so run life. It. That means it's got to be turned. Yeah, we call it the package, uh, package price enable and support. 
because you need a different package. It needs to be much more simpler uh, you know, uh, than an enterprise. You, you cannot go to a Chinese menu for the GBs, <laughs> so it has to be templates, yeah. price, very specific price for the GB. It needs to uh, enable the channels. Who is going to you know, enable the channel? Uh, technically, uh, pre-sales, sales, etc. Yeah. Et and it, we need to support the channel once yeah. uh, they, uh, they sell or you know, during the process. This is my organization, that's why I educate the other organizations. So, there is not a company on the planet that has mastered the fine art of reaching... Other than us? Other, other than okay. you. Okay. Well, you said you got more work to do. <laughs> There's not a company on the planet, uh, uh, you're getting closer, that has mastered the yeah. fine art of reaching the general business population of companies. Yeah. Increasingly also, as we move more into digital business, your biggest customers yeah. want to use software and digital interfaces and technologies yeah. to reach their small, yeah. medium-sized business customers. Are they coming to you and saying, how can we start bringing your platform, your go-to-business, and coupled with our SAP backend to facilitate the process of helping to reach. Yeah. In other words, are you going to be able to catalyze a global change in the approach to reading, reaching small businesses because of the SAP platform? Well, I, I don't know if we can do that, but uh, I think it's a good vision for us uh, you know, to pursue, Peter. Uh, we do have an organization that has uh, from uh, inside sales, digital sales, social sales. We use social we, uh, 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 to reach out to our customers. We use a digital to reach out to our customers. We have feet on the street, direct sales. We have our, you know, at 12, uh, today, I think 13,000 partners, ecosystem uh, 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 that uh, reach out uh, to our customers. And they are divided by territory, by industry, by solution. So we can uh, map, uh, you know, uh, get the word and map it by territory, by solution, by uh, industry, the partners that we have. And we, have, we use a lot of uh, new methodologies and uh, social uh, uh, sales, digital sales, a lot yeah. of things. So we are building the infrastructure to support any kind of a products from a SAP. We are very well served in terms of portfolio uh, for the market from SAP, so we have a lot to, to digest. So one of the things, we talk to a lot of channel partners, SIs down to the uh, you know, ISVs. Resellers. And DAB, or, yeah. VARs, used yep. to be called. Um, and we hear the following from them. I want to get your, your take on this and, and, yep. and how you're uh, addressing this. We want a partner that's going to be with us from cradle to grave with through the life cycle of with our partnerships, yeah. the things you said. The other thing that was interesting was we want um, to increase our gross profit and services is 100% <laughs> gross yep. profit. So me as the partner, I make money on professional services, whether that's break yes. fix in the old days or architecting clouds, integration. So that's a big part of their growth revenue. Yep. So they want to make money, that's the, that's the code word for money. So how are you guys shifting the economics yep. to enable the partners to wrap their own unique services, certainly makes sense in, in, in foreign uh, markets, but across the globe, that's a big challenge. What are you, how are you rolling out for them, at the same time bringing the big accounts to them? So how are you enabling me to wrap yep. my services around them? And, and that's, uh, Yola, going back to your point, uh, to your first question, when I said, uh, Yola, the, the economics are changing, so we need uh, to follow up the new economics. Uh, the channels, as you said, they make a, they make a big, uh, a good part of their business is about, about the implementation. Once you go to the cloud, though, uh, the part of the, this part of the business is reduced by one third because in the cloud you have a, you know, a less of a share of uh, the service. So the serv service share is uh, reduced by one third. So what you need to do is uh, to compensate that with uh, what we call it ARR, annual recurring revenue from the cloud. So we are building business model, and I launched, I launched that uh, last Monday, Monday, our cloud business partner, new business model, which is uh, giving the partners a ARR, annual recurring revenue, so because service is good because it's recurring revenue. Once yeah. you sign a service SLA, right, a service yeah. contract, you don't have anything, but you, you, have, a, you have a recurring revenue with that, that, but this is going to be reduced in the cloud, so we will compensate that and that's the idea. So you're shifting the dollars into the same consumption model, the cloud, yes. with a, some sort of subscription-like or recurring I'm revenue I'm willing model. to cut a share of my revenue to, with our, my partners from the cloud. Well, you might be able to get it back longer term, but yes. it's that upfront. Yes. It's a, typically, you, you sell upfront, you pay for the sales guy upfront, and a lot of these partners, but now, gonna, I can afford to wait for the... Now senior. it's more of a recurrent revenue battle, so I'm willing to uh, get a share of that, 
to split that with my partner for more business. So you're financing their That's business it. model transition. Yeah. Well, transition. Their, their fear. That's the word. That their fear that this transition, because they're on paper, they're getting cut. Yeah. So they have to have an immediate pop, yeah. you know, yeah. change. Yeah. So you're financing that over the long term for the relationship. Well, we, we, are, we are willing to, uh, to have this conversation and the new business models that we are developing and uh, we introduce it here, they actually address that uh, in a very, very programmatic way. It's not a one by one. It's not yeah. a, you know, opportunistic. And by the way, you said the, uh, the channels, we are getting channels. We have only 15% of our business from the channel. My business, only 15% is opportunistic that you come with yeah. a transaction. 85% is predictable. 85% is you know, loyal, uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's about loyalty. Great base. You, exactly, I want to invest in the channels that are here for the long run. So it okay. will support that business model transition. Yes. So, yes. so that's a good loyal base. So they probably give you very candid feedback. Yes, please. What did they say? No, they, they <laughs> do. If you have a loyal base, they'll tell you the truth, right? Yeah. What are they? What are they saying? What's the feedback of the new business model? What are some of the well, examples? Well, they love it. Uh, you know, and I, I, after I presented on stage, and I, we had the conversation. I had, a, as you can imagine, a, you know, a, a dozen of a, a, a conversations with the specific partners that are willing to adopt and sign off. Uh, you know, it's just uh, for us to start to roll out. Of course, to roll up the new business models, you need a, you know, to think about countries, uh, a lot of the only specifics, but we expect in the next uh, six months to have a, you know, the whole uh, world uh, cover. That's great, and you got the events coming up. Thanks yep. for clarifying that. Well, sure. really appreciate those coming on theCUBE and sharing your insights. Thank You're you. You're very dynamic and yeah. uh, great guests to come on theCUBE. Certainly, we'd love to have you again, and if you need us down in, uh, in the other summits, let It'll us know. It would be my pleasure. We'd be happy to bring theCUBE. Channel is big, the ecosystem is a competitive advantage, and you guys are looking good, as they say, uh, off the tee. This is theCUBE here live in Orlando. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. You're watching theCUBE, we'll be right back. There'll be millions of people in the near future that are, want to be involved in their own personal well-being and in wellness. Nobody wants